interested in painting's potential to slow things down. Doing things in very laborious ways, mimicking an effect that in Photoshop would take the click of a button, but to do it in paint is an entirely slower process. In the end, it wasn't just about making an ironic gesture in bad taste, it was about doing something that feels strange and different or hard to compute. That's the joy that I find in painting. I had the idea to paint a panorama of butterflies. It literally doesn't have a ground, also doesn't have a structuring horizon, except the bottom edge of the canvas. And the, the paint fades out to total transparency, so at the bottom it's only the raw canvas and then the flowers sticking up into it. But I always like to refer back to the, the object of the canvas. For whatever reason, I, it's a, almost like more of an instinct, but to open up the physical space to the viewer's perception. When I painted that first albatross painting, I didn't know necessarily that it would become a series, but it felt like there were so many more birds that I wanted to paint. It got me really excited. I was looking out my window in my studio and there were all these seagulls that would, would hover above the shore and they would catch the wind and just, there were, there were masses of them just all floating there. It was such an arresting image to just see a bird floating in space. I wanted to refer to that feeling of reverence by encircling the birds with these halos. At the same time, I wanted to ground the paintings in our world a bit, uh, which is currently a world of kind of plastic and consumerism and disposability. I thought there was something about trying to transform that cheapness in this problematic way with the reverence that I was feeling towards nature looking at the birds. <laughs> the subject and the style came from looking at Chinese painting and Japanese printmaking. It's something I really love, and in a way it's a, a bit clumsy to take both the subject and the style. We have so much access to so many different traditions of art and making, and it's so exciting, and my, my love of that is very genuine. There's no uh, condescension, it's like true admiration. I've always thought about that image of Magritte painting in a suit, and I don't know how true it is, whether he really did it or not. I am a pretty clean painter, I guess. I don't really like getting dirty. <laughs> but I do, um, yeah, I mean, it's not super clean. <laughs>